this is a very important diagram because you should be able to make out the nomenclature of the walls. Whenever you are getting particular view, you are getting a parasternal long axis view or you are getting a four chamber view or two chamber view, you should be able to label the walls. And for that, this particular picture is very important. Now I will tell you how it is important. You can see this is a short axis view, two chamber short axis view and here you can make out this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle in the view. This is the interventricular septum and if you see to this picture, you will be able to make out that this is the septum. So the labeling of this, this of course is anterior, so this is an anterior septum. This is down, so this is inferior septum and then this is the free wall. The free wall is labeled accordingly up, anterior, down, posterior. This is also referred to as posterior inferior or inferior lateral. This is lateral, sorry, this is lateral and this is inferior, down is inferior. This being on the lateral side, this is lateral. Now, as I told you, this is called posterior inferior or inferior lateral because it is between inferior and lateral. Now, This section is at the level of papillary muscles. You can have a section which is uh, closer to the walls, which includes the walls and that will be the basal one and then you can have a section which is more closer to the apex, that is the apical one. Now, when there is a basal sec uh, section, you just have to remember that this will be called uh, basal anterior septum, this is basal inferior septum, this is basal anterior. So, uh, the difference will be when it is in the apex, in the apical area, we don't have six segments like you are having here. Basal area also has six, mid area also has six and then apical area has four, means there is only one septum, so that is the septal area, then this area is there, that is the anterior area and then this area is there which is the inferior area and then this one which is the lateral one. So we have four septal, anterior which is a free anterior one, free means that does not include uh, the septum and uh, we have inferior and lateral one. So let us go on to that, basal third, mid third and apical third, let us see basal anterior and basal anterior septal same thing which I have already told you then then mid one and then in the apical area we have apico anterior this one apico septal which is segment number 14 apico inferior apico lateral so many people they label another segment that is sep the segment number 17 and that segment we get in a, a view which includes the apex for example here. So that apical area is included and that we get in long tunnel section and the apex by many is referred to as segment number 17. So this apex, this apex uh, segment number 17. Okay, now going on to the various cardiac views in longitudinal section and how do we label them. Let us see again we go back to this section because this is a very basic section and from here we will be able to make out so many things. Now if you see to this section there is a line passing here and that refers to a four chamber view and in this if you see There is uh, the line is passing through the septum and we uh, it is you can say um, in between the anterior and the inferior septum. So this is the septal area and how we are going to label it? Majority of the times the one third lower one is the inferior septal area and upper two thirds form the anterior septal area. 
this wall the lateral wall is here you can make out as per this line so we have both anterior septal and inferior septal areas in four chamber view here down inferior septal upper to third anterior and then we have the lateral one as well here now how do we get this section we get this section somewhere close to the nipple area a little bit up or down you can do we are keeping the probe transversely and tilting it towards the right side this way so that uh, gets you all the four chambers in the view and we get this four chamber view now from here if you rotate the probe and make it 45 degrees like this now how the probe, probe is still lower down uh, close to the nipple and it is kept like this again facing towards the right side and now we are going to get this view and this view is referred to as apical log axis view now how do we label the walls here again let us go on to this picture again here we have rotated 45 degrees we come to this long axis view since this long axis view is from the apex we call it apical long axis view and here what do you get again we get anterior septal area so the septum is here you can see between the this is the right ventricle this is the left ventricle so in between the two there will be septum so this is the septum and this is the anterior septum so we get this anterior septum out and opposite to that the wall here this wall as i told you posterior inferior this wall is a posterior inferior or you can say in between inferior and lateral so inferior lateral wall so this is posterior inferior or inferior lateral wall and this is how we get we were keeping the probe transversely oblique oblique transverse and facing towards the right side now we have kept it oblique longitudinally again facing it towards the right side and we get this apical long axis view now again 45 degrees tilt we move further 45 degrees it becomes nearly straight this way and on this side left side we know that we have left sided chambers so we get this left ventricle and we get this left atrium now here again you can see we have moved this way further 45 degrees and we have got this two chamber so what are the walls we are getting anterior wall and inferior wall so if we are moving in a particular direction we know that this uh, side which was the anterior septal area will now change to anterior wall free anterior wall and opposite to that the inferior lateral one will now change into this which is the free inferior wall so we have free inferior and free anterior there's another way to make out one is that close to the inferior wall you can see this rounded area surrounded by a white background this is a coronary sinus so coronary sinus can help you out as well further the anterior wall will be having a anterior leaflet of the metal wall which is longer compared to the posterior leaflet sometimes you can see an appendage atrial appendage here anteriorly but that may not be seen so many times and usually the trans esophageal echocardiography is used to see it most of the times so this is how you can make out this one is the inferior wall and this one is the anterior wall free anterior and free inferior okay now you can see this picture and this picture both the pictures are of long axis view of the heart the difference is this picture is taken lower down from lower down area uh, somewhere around the nipple so this picture will have the apex because the apex is somewhere here so apex is seen quite clearly in this picture while this picture again the probe is angulated 
towards nearly the same region the right side but it is placed higher up close to the sternum so this is a parasternal long axis view and in this parasternal you can see orientation is different you don't see the apex and the septum which was more or less vertical here is now horizontal here of course the wall nomenclature will remain same this will be the anterior septal this will be the inferior lateral or posterior inferior wall we have aorta here we have aorta here here you can see it is quite vertical so in order to see flow through the aorta this will be a good view and in order to see any defects or the movement of the walls this will be better because this is more horizontally located and this is more vertical and you know that the 2D picture is always good if anything is more horizontally placed and the color picture is always good if a particular thing is more vertical. So you can see here the same thing but orientation is different. You don't see the apex here because the probe is kept up. So apex is somewhere here and you don't get it in this view but you get it when you get the uh, long axis view with a probe kept lower down.